Hello YouTube, welcome back. We're saving, just in case you hadn't noticed. Just got to wait for all the uh, ones and zeros to settle into place and then we can get cracking again with our digging out. <clears throat> Do I edit my YouTube videos? Oh, Satari, you, you sweet summer child. Uh, no, <laughs> I don't do any editing other than stopping and starting the recording. And in fact, um, I well, I have done some editing. I can edit. It's just that I don't tend to edit. This is very much, um, I just stream most of my game playing. So a lot of people... Basically, you watching me playing computer games is what justifies me playing computer games. So if I'm not streaming, I'm not playing computer games because I feel a bit guilty. <laughs> and, you know, just having people watching gives it that little edge of justification that allows you to continue. And, of course, I can't complain about getting free games and people giving me money. That's always nice. <laughs> you, know, you know, that usually puts a sweetener on almost everything, you know. There are a few things so awful that they won't be improved by that. <clears throat> okay, smoothing's going nicely. Digging's going well. Well, that's the thing. If you're gonna, if you're doing Twitch, that's how you've got to do YouTube because you know you're going to be producing a huge volume of stuff, and to edit in any coherent way. You need to sort of keep track of what's been said at any given time and stuff like that. And it makes, you know, it's it's just so much more effort. Whereas if you're making a YouTube channel, sure, edit and uh, treat it like, you know, you, you're making a, a video. But this is, although the, a video is the end product of this, it's very much a, a different process. Doing another, see that, I mean, you can, I mean, I don't, I'm not going to um, play down anyway. If you've got the dedication to do proper YouTube videos, pre-record all your footage, then do your voiceover, then edit it together, fantastic. There's that guy who's doing all the um, the crayon drawings and everything, kills, kill smush or something, kill grush. Um, I've had a look at some of his videos. They're they're damn good, but um, they're they're an entirely different beast to what's going on here. There's a lot of effort going into those, a lot of effort. Krug smash. That's it. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, well worth a watch, very enjoyable, but um, I mean, I mean, I wouldn't. I mean, it's unfair to him to compare this pedestrian claptrap <laughs> to his uh, considered efforts. Let's put it that way. And, you know, maybe I'm being a little bit harsh on myself describing this as pedestrian claptrap, but I don't think I am. <laughs> it's maybe not claptrap, but it's definitely pedestrian. I mean... We've had some very odd streams, it must be said. I mean, who can forget erotic cheese and other such wonders? Erotic cheese. Two words that really shouldn't be put together. See, that's the problem. Uh, the, the, the thing about honest marketing, in my case, is that honesty kind of clashes with the marketing. They, they sort of come at loggerheads to each other and... Bang! That's it. That's my knuckles hitting each other. That hurt. Oh, here we go. Elves. Come on then. You come to trade. Wait. They don't look like they've got a caravan. What's this bad boy? Human swordsman. Elf recruit. There's a pool of his blood. What's going on over here? Some sort of fight? Humans versus elves? I mean, I know which side I'm taking, if there's a war. I'm certainly not going to be caught on any old uh, elves' side. <laughs> why are they... Uh, why are they attacking him? What's happened here? Is there an alert? Finley Zero cancels food, interrupted by an elf wrestler. Elf wrestler? Come on now. Are we... Is this an actual attack? Are these... Are these guys serious? Are they trying to get riggedy wrecked? And why is a human fighting? Very odd. Very odd. 
what's so odd about erotic cheese? Well, it depends how you're making it. I mean, what what part of the cheese is erotic? The the creation process, the uh, cheese itself. Is it like a cheesy sculpture of some boobs? <laughs> it reaches for something erotic, only finds boobs. Um, you know, I mean, it, I mean, there's so many interpretations. I mean. Surely, uh, under under the broadest scope for erotic cheeses, um, smegma would be uh, considered. And that's not fun, is it? You wouldn't want that on a Ritz cracker. Yuck. Exactly. Cheese in stockings. And it's not like people don't make cheese with stockings. Did they just kill that human being? Okay, let's just watch these scumbag elves and see what's happening here. Zoom down. Holy shit, they're right at the gate. They've killed my dogs. Why have you killed my dogs? What is this? Why are you attacking elves? Go on into the cage traps with you. Yeah. Oh, you think you're clever, don't you? Oh, but you're not because you've all got trapped. Congratulations on your stupidity. Resume. Come on. All the elves go in. Oh, 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 oh. What are you doing? Don't think so, Sunshine. Um, I was hoping to capture them all for later uh, destruction in the fighting pits, but oh, it might work. Actually, it might work. If my guys just flee over the traps, yeah, he saw the cage, the troll in the cage, and he thought twice, maybe thrice. Whoa, 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 whoa! Wagwan, where's the other elf gone? Have we captured everybody who's still at large? Or no, there's still this guy. You better get out of here quick, or my uh, squads will be coming at you like you wouldn't believe. We need a prison. Shit. Um, hang on. Uh, how do we do a prison again? Um, build a cage. Is it or chains? Can I build a cage? Let's come up here. Cage. There we go. J. I would like to build some cages here for the elves. Brilliant. There you go. Make a nice wall of cages at the back here. There we go. And once those are in place. Seems like we only captured two or three of them. Not going to lie. Disappointed by that. Very disappointed. But we'll get them in those pits. We'll have them fighting. No problem. What are you doing? Freeing your friends? Absolutely not. Try any of that shit and I'll bring the fists. You do not want a crit beard fisting. That's probably among the worst forms of fisting out there. Is this elf the same elf? Visible from above. No, there you go. Elf recruit. Follow. Capital F. Why it's a capital in this particular instance, I don't know. They're bolting for it. Why are they fighting my? I mean, what have they? What are they hoping to achieve here? There's another elf down there. Oh God, we're infested. Absolutely infested. We need more silver. Oh, good grief. Okay. Um, oh, no, they didn't free them, did they? No, 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 they've just moved them here, hopefully. Or are in transit. God, please be in transit. Don't let the elves have escaped. That would be the ultimate humiliation. <laughs> Wood cages for the elves. Yes, you are correct. Ironic. And a dead cat. Oh, dear. You can't dodge and climb simultaneously, so there's no way for a mediocre climber to get out before their opponent mauls them. Oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> Crips Beard Fisting does kill bears and cougars and basically anything you apply it to. Good old Crip Beard's Fistings. Superior Fisting. Ultimate Fisting. we got mad fists, yo. Oh, they did... Or the elves end up. Oh look, the elves have ended up in the animal stockpile. Ha ha ha! You don't even count as fucking prisoners. You're animals. 
animals. Is that all of them? Have the rest of them run away? Uh, let's quickly find them again. There they are. One, two, three, four of them. That's nice. Female, female, female. Oh, they're all female. Intriguing. Huh. Well, what are the odds? I mean, we could probably figure the odds out. But never tell me the odds. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. So, DS, smooth these baddie boys out. Boom, boom, boom. Smoothie, smoothie. Smoothie, smoothie. And we also want to dig down considerably deeper. Well, I say considerably deeper. Just one floor down. But still, it's good. It's good. Make the elves fight the trolls. Well, I'm going to give it a go. Let's see if that happens. Fingers crossed the elves will be pounded and then we can go in and just finish off the trolls for funsies. But we'll see what happens. <laughs> Being covered in food and your own child before you begin getting deep fried. Covered in your own child. Man, that's that's an, a mess. That's very messy emotionally and physically. I can't imagine anybody getting around. Oh, someone's been found dead. Why, though? That could be a sign of vampiricism. At this size, I mean, good grief, we're bound to have a few in. In Goon Station, you can deep fry people and then eat them. Ah, oh, Space Station 13. If only it were an easier game to stream with a larger viewing population. It's on Twitch. People do stream it, but... Oh, God. Space Station 13. The little game that could... I love that. I, I played Space Station 13 and I invited Chunky Nut and JC Experience to join us. And I said, oh, guys, look, it's, it, the servers are really good. It's like RP enforced. It's going to be fun. They got banned immediately. <laughs> so it was play on your own with strangers or you just don't play because your friends will get banned. Space Station 13 is an amazing game. It's uh, in the same sort of um, quality space as Dwarf Fortress, I would say, on all levels. There was an attempt to um, remake it. They were going to try and make a nice, prettier version, but I don't think it ever got finished. I think it was abandoned, in fact. Oh, man, space! I'm, I'm thirsting for Space Station 13 now. How, how has this happened? Right in the middle of a Dwarf Fortress run. There's something wrong about that, surely. Something just a little bit wrong. Come on, Smoothers, get the job done. You're taking your sweet time with this. Here we go. Let's get the uh, get the channelers in on as well. Do 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 Pardon me, hopefully the microphone didn't pick that up, but uh, maybe hopefully it did, just for the comedies, just for the lols, you understand. Oh no, took a deep breath. It was a mistake, definite mistake. Should have should have waited a little while for a bit of uh, dissipation. Oh, I see, I see, being covered in food and your unfertilised reproduction fallout. Well, that's a slightly different, different uh, affair. Although, um, in order to be covered, I mean, that's an uh, an epic undertaking. I mean, it's going to come off in your hand before you've generated enough, surely. Surely, you're going to need some help. You're going to need some outside contractors to provide that uh, material. <laughs> outside contractors. That's a very powerful euphemism, isn't it? 66 frames per second. Holy shit, where have my frames gone? Probably they've gone wherever the uh, 96 dwarves in the fortress came from. Oh shit. Oh, hang on guys. I've just I've just cheekily had a little tinkle over to a uh, dwarf therapist. You remember that guy who got the mood? He's gone berserk. Let's quickly go and look at the uh area where he will have done so somewhere around here yeah look someone's been flinging their clothes on the floor and waving their little fists in the air red-faced and furious oh dear oh dear oh dear oh dear 
Continue to identify as chicken nuggets. I love chicken nuggets. I had chicken nuggets today. Some of them had peas in. Some of them had sweet corn in. It was incredible. Uh, right. Back to the action. Where was we? Where were we, rather? Digging out all the fun stuff here. Lovely. Down, 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 down. D, H. Let's get this final outer ring dug down. There we go. Then once that's done, we'll be able to smooth this ground floor, put a door or two in here. Just to, in fact, let's do that now. B, D. Doors can go here and here. Oh, figgins. That moved a bit further than I expected it to. There and there and there. Sorry, just put a load of doors in just so the trolls have to batter through a ton of shit before they can get out. Excuse me. Chat's in a strange place this evening, it has to be said. Oh, I brought it on myself by using the phrase erotic cheese. But then who doesn't bring it on themselves when they say erotic cheese? Nobody, that too. Oh man, the brewers have run out of empty brewing vessels. This is a problem. Hang on a minute. Oh, okay, he's actually doing it. Don't panic. I was getting all panicked, and they've done it. They've done the job. Good. Now, DS for smoothing. There we go. You know what? Maybe we could smooth the floor in here, too. That might be fun. We can definitely remove the ramps. They can go. There we go. Don't need those anymore. They can go. And then hopefully we can get rid of all this stone fingers crossed how are our stone stockpiles looking yeah, not too bad why have i got ores in this stockpile this stockpile shouldn't have ores in it should it god damn it <laughs> apparently it does have metal ores in it what about this one nope that one's had it taken out good good this is only metal ores. Good. That's working as it should. Okay. Okay. Oh shit, we put these holes in. Let's put some fucking uh, kilns over the top. Uh, build. Where are the furnaces? E. There we go. Magma glass furnace. A. So we'll pop one there. And we'll pop one here. Okay, that's good. That's good. All done. Right, so uh, back to the pit. Keep digging, mud wharves. Keep digging. <coughs> Excuse me. I haven't managed to depressurize the lava. I've not done... Oh, I must have been able to. Yeah, no, I think I managed to do it by... Um... No, I didn't. I, I brought lava down from the surface through this vertical shaft. There you go. I made like a, a shaft of stairwells, dug a channel on the surface. If we look up here, let me zoom out just a shade. Yeah, see, I channeled a bit of lava down here. It goes down the stairwell. Boom, 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 boom. And then goes into this little arrangement underneath. And there we go. There's the lava. Yeah. Very good. Sorry about the coughing. Is it spiking the microphone? <clears throat> I'm trying not to, but I've got quite the tickly little cough. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully it will fade soon and I won't have to worry about it. But it's certainly making streaming a little bit awkward. Just a little bit. Let's try a drink of water. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it's the, the, the doing that whole bring the lava down and to your level kind of thing is the only way I really know how to do. Oh, God, another horse. Why have we got so many starving horses? You know what? I'm, I'm pissed off enough about horses now that we're going to kill all the horses. Horsey. There we go. Butcher. Horse. Show me some more horses. Horses, horses, dogs, cat, horse, butcher. There we go. 
Any more horses? Any more horses? Oh shit, these dogs need training for war, don't they? www. We've got anything else that needs training? Yes, we do. There we go. Keep going down. Uh, puppies can't be trained. Horses can be butchered. Uh, so many puppies. Holy shit. Cave crocodile. Cave spider. Giant mole. Horse foal. Tame. Well, you're never not going to be a foal. There we go. That should work. Resume. <clears throat> Shift B. Auto butcher at the butcher screen. May be good to manage the population after auto butcher got initiated. Butcher got initiated. Oh, that's interesting. So can I set like levels of population and say if I have more than this many, kill them. Kill them all. Door there, an actual an obsidian door. That's quite useful. What was it again? Shift B. I'm assuming that's in the um in the animal menu. Or am I crazy? Uh let's go to Where's all those puppies? Here we go. Let's get Cruella de Vil. Shift B. Uh oh <clears throat> okay. So this is gonna need more consideration. Holy shit. <laughs> Capital B Butcher Race. Okay, we're gonna come back to this and figure it out another time, because that looks like it needs a little bit of consideration. They need to hit shift plus W so it gets initiated. Or is that just like set the vanillas? I, I actually don't want to do it to all species. That seemed like it applied to all species. And I would kind of like to keep my egg layers uh, expanding. We'll give it a go. Um, what do I do to get rid of all this stone? I'm going to have to dump it, aren't I? Uh, designate... Um, what is it? Uh, dump, 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 dump. Oh, none got tracked, so it does nothing at all. Okay, so I've got to track dogs. We'll look into it in a minute. Let's, uh, sorry, we'll look into dumping in a minute as well. Uh, we're getting there now. We're getting there. Let's go up to the surface again. Over to here. We've got our pit. Now, rather than just having smooth walls here, oh, this here, waiting for furniture hoarding, hauling, surely someone can, uh, construction suspended, come on guys, not suspended, surely. Okay, that's cool. Can I make this into a prison yet? No. Uh, P... Animal stockpile, make another animal stockpile up here. Good. And then now we've done that, I am going to remove this animal stockpile. PX. Boom. There we go. And they can get all moved in here, nice and close to the pit. Wouldn't that be lovely? Wouldn't that be lovely? It needs six in-game days before it checks them. Holy cow. It's like the managerial orders. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> the back of my throat's getting really tickly now. Still, it's... Uh, I've been recording for 24 minutes. Holy cow. And it's uh, 10 to 1 in the morning, so it's not like I haven't put some hours in. I wish I could have started earlier when I was still feeling a bit better. Oh, well, never mind. What's this? A troglodyte. A troglodyte baby. Okay, let's make this a room, though. Okay, with the size of the room. Bang. Um, but now what? Sign a location? Add a location? No, 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 we don't need any of this. This is not what we want. We want... Owner, free, resize, assign... It's just Justice J. What does that mean? 
J, Shift J. Hmm. Okay. I thought it was Justice. But no, the elves aren't going in here. The troglodytes are going in here for some reason, and the elves are all going in the animal room. Very odd. Very odd indeed. Oh, hello, what's this? Something got completed. So there's another trading caravan arriving. Could be. I'll wait and see. We'll, we'll find out soon enough. We'll find out soon enough. Right, it might make sense. Can we... How do we... Um... Oh, the uh, the cage needs to be empty for justice. Okay, so there's an empty cage here. So if I go to here... Oh, there we go. Uh... Resize. Done. There we go to so this one, and I say make room. There we go. Fill the room up. Bang. Justice. 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 Nope, didn't work. Maybe it needs to have a prisoner in. Can we click this guy for justice? No? Apparently not, no. Right, so we've got our combat pit. I need to set the doors at the bottom, so I, I don't actually know how to do doors. Forbid passage, keep tightly closed. Let's do that. Okay, set as internal, set as external. Forbid passage, permit passage. Okay, for now, I'm going to assume that will keep a troll at bay, which is probably stupid, right? Uh, I'm also going to make a nice little staging room off the side here for all of our military. So, four, five, ten, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So that's just enough room for like ten guys to stand on the floor tile each. Should fit an entire squad in. We'll see how it works out. Gem Cutter is very drowsy. Well, uh, why do I care about how drowsy he is? Is that important? Is that vital? Oh, we're out of bloody water sources as well. We need to, need to dig down to that cavern water. Make ourselves a well. Uh, da, 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 da. We also need to get some mining on, don't we? Let's go down the mining shaft. See what we can get. What's that? Giant cave troll blood. Okay, sure. They've still not placed any of this stuff. Have I got traps on the go? I've got traps coming. Cages? No, it might be out of cages. Or mechanisms. Ooh. Uh, let's order up cages first. C-A-G-E. Wooden cages. I would like... God, let's call it 30 again. Let's make them in bulk. I'm probably going to have to assign some trees to be chopped down, aren't I? Um, these will do. D, T, there we go. Tree, tree, tree. Down you go. All of you get chopped. Lovely. Good. Okay, what else have we got going on here? Who's this corpse? Give name? I don't think we need to give a name to a corpse. It should already have one from its previous owner or previous user. <clears throat> I don't know. We need more weapon racks and armor rack, don't we? Um, build. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Build armor stand. No. Weapon rack. No. Okay, so we need to order those up. J. Hang on. J M Q. Armor. Uh, where can we make a rock armor stand? There we go. I would like call it 30 of those as well. Why not? And also a weapon rack. So Q R A C K wooden weapon rack. No rock weapon rack. That'll be good. And another 30 of those as well, even though it's a massive overorder. Nice. 
nice. Maybe we should make a hundred more spike wooden balls as well. That might be useful. Maybe. This guy looks unhappy. What's wrong with him? The broker. It's positively miserable. Look, down arrows galore. Interesting. Oh well. Hopefully he'll cheer up. Maybe he's been battered by a troll or something. It's entirely possible. <clears throat> oh yeah, we need to assign some dogs to this, don't we? Um, assign animal to chain. Uh, well, turkeys are not going to be any good, are they? We want dogs. Dog, 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 dog. We could tie elves to the chain. <laughs> Let's not do that immediately. Let's figure that out another day. Uh, oh, we could put chains. Oh, we could chain the trolls at the bottom of the pit. That could be interesting. Okay, puppies, puppies, puppies. Puppies, puppies, puppies. I want war dogs, war dogs, war dogs. Troglodyte babies at the door, maybe? Nah. Stray dog, stray dog. Come on, I want a war dog. Do we just have to have stray dogs then? Apparently so. Fair enough. And then the next chain. There we go, assign animal. Just the first stray dog we come across. Where are you? There we go, stray dog, bang. Lovely. At least we've got something at the gates now. Someone to bark at the enemy as they arrive and then get slaughtered. <laughs> I was about to say to die like dogs. And then I realised, oh, they are dogs. So no matter how they die, they are dying like dogs. It's kind of intrinsic. Right, let's do some engraving. Engrave stone all the way around here. That's it. Here we go. Boom. Making ourselves a lovely, fine-ass combat arena and you know what I'm also going to smooth the damn floor because that's the kind of maniac I am is it sensible to smooth next to the edge of the hole ah fuck it who cares if someone slips in they slip in we have a little bit of uh, Gamorian guard on rancor action should be fun shouldn't it okay let's get that all done what, what's this a giant mole troll why are these suddenly looking different in cage traps than they do in an animal zone. That's a bit weird. Ooh, what are the dogs? Are the dogs taunting all the animals. What's going on here? They're getting taunted by a horde of puppies. Poor sods. Oh look. Have we got any engravings? Not yet. They'll get there. They'll get there. Once the engravings are done. Oh, there we go. There's our first engraved one. Oh, come on. Let's view. Enter. Engraved is a nunchaku ninchaku rithandur rendition of the channels of lightning. An image of a sheet. The image is the symbol of the rampart of deer. A dwarven civilization. Man. Imagine that. What's your national symbol? A sheet. Well, no. I mean, not... not what do you have it on? What is a flag? I mean, what is your national symbol? No, 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 it's a sheet. <laughs> Engraved on the wall is an image of Atir, the deity of jewels and wealth, depicted as a female dwarf and two dwarves by Obok Irvanding. The two dwarves are praying. Atir is contemplating. That's more like it. Get with the program, guys. Engraved on the wall is an image of Kurlig, the deity of weather, oceans, fish, and lakes, depicted as a male dwarf by Zephon Akelzings. Girling is travelling. This is it. Pictures of gods. That's what we're looking for. Exciting stuff. You guys get on with your engravings. I'll come back and look at it later. The puppies want their mum. Uh, the puppy's mum is almost certainly dead because I think the breeding pair were both <laughs> chained up here. That's probably their mum. Horrible, but factual. And let's face it, facts are cool, yo. Uh, we've got to get all these tombs set for burial, all these graves set for burial again. I forgot about that. Once they all got pulled up by that troll, that was it. There's no one in them. That's right, we're not too bad. They're not all gone. Some of them are okay. Uh, there should be one up here as well, shouldn't there? There we go. Right here. No, there, no, there. Yes, there we go. Good. Okay. You can see dogs in the cage. Shouldn't be dogs in the cage. Uh, no, they're just on the same square as I think that 
because these T's are troglodytes. <coughs> oh, we've got troglodyte and a troglodyte baby in the cage. That's um, awkward. Hmm. So if we pit... Oh yeah, of course I need to do a pit here, don't we? So... Actually, let's make it... Let's just do the whole damn square. The whole thing is a pit. There we go. So it's a pit pond. Set pit pond information. And what do we put in first? I'm thinking we can stick in... Not the giant cave troll. Or the spider. Should we put the crocodile in? You know what? Maybe we stick the troglodyte baby in the pit. Yeah, let's do that. Let's take a troglodyte baby in the pit, see what happens. Hopefully, it won't end up in chaos. But there is a significant chance it will end up in chaos. So the crocodile can go in next. Earman, we'll chuck the crocodile in and see how it fares. But once it's in, we'll uh, send in one of our squads to wallop it. Oh, look, we've got some kind of giant frog as well, look. Dwarven baby dehydrated. Oh god, the dwarf always dehydrated. Um, <clears throat> let me just quickly come down here and you know what? I could just build a well right down here for no good. Yeah, let's do it. Build well. <laughs> Where's the well? There it is. L needs a lie slash milk free bucket. Oh, for God's sake, J M Q B U C K E T. Uh, can we have some wooden buckets, please? Just make me ten. That will do. Thank you. Good. And then hopefully, within a few minutes, we'll have a bucket, and we'll be able to build ourselves a little well down here. Don't think you can feed water to babies. Oh dear. That's not a good sign. Oh, what? So if they haven't got their mum to uh, boob them up, then they're a little bit troubled. That could make sense. Right, build well. Oh, come on, build some more buckets, guys. Get them buckets rolling. Anything that gets dunked gets water. Okay, so we need to chuck the babies in. I'm, I've, I really have to master pumps on another uh, next fortress. Plan is volcano and a river. And then that way we can actually have some water power as well. We can make some proper machines with pumps and everything. That would be nice. Right, build well. Can I build a well? Yes, I friggin' can. And Bang it. Ugh. Really? Oh yeah, yeah. How do I do this? <laughs> okay, let's zoom out a bit. Have we got any easier to access water? No. Absolutely not. None whatsoever. You know what? You said a bucket chain would take forever. We've got ten idlers. Let's just zoom in. I'm going to make a little drinking pit and we're going to bucket water into it, okay? It's going to be teeny weeny, but it'll do. Uh, let's go down to the food floor. There it is. Uh, I'm going to put the well in. Not there. Uh, off the brewing room. D. Boom, boom. Here we go. Oh, D. That's not a best. Oh my goodness. D, D. There we go. Bang. Bang. There we go. And I'm going to dig a little pit in here, much like the fighting pit, and we're just going to bucket it with water. And that's it. And then hopefully it will remain full long enough. <clears throat> a river on its own is the same like a cavern sea. It needs to share an edge with a floor tile. Oh, okay, the, 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 um, uh, well. Uh, 
I'm only going to make this one floor deep, so it'll be fine. I had valid tiles over the ramps. Oh, okay, let's go down. So we need to just channel out, channel out a bit lower. So B L. Oh, for fuck's sake! They've used all the buckets. Ugh. Cancels give water. Need empty buckets. Fine, fine, fine. J M. No, not a cage. I want to say J M Q. Can we make buckets out of anything else? I mean, I can make lead buckets. We must have a bit of lead knocking around because I've not used any, and we've been smelting Galena for ages. Let's make some lead buckets. Let's make, I don't know, 20 lead buckets. I mean, it sounds, it's not good for drinking water, but frankly, who knows? Who knows if dwarves even care? Build L. No. Come on, build some more buckets. Build some more buckets. Fluids in Dwarf Fortress is a bit weird. For powering mechanics, it needs a change of its 7-7 seven, seven tile. Oh, okay, so it needs the level to go up and down in the water, does it? Is that what needs to happen? Or am I crazy? Build well. There we go, lovely. Can I put one here? Yikes, there we go. But there's no water underneath it. Doesn't really matter though. We're going to build it out of that, that, and that. And then the lower level, I'm going to say D H. <laughs> Boom, there we go. That should get water under it. All set. And then we have a well. Hopefully that will work. Hopefully that will work. Oh, look, there's some blood in there. That means that the troglodyte baby did not survive the fall? Or am I wrong here? There's a pool of troglodyte blood. A spattering of troglodyte blood, but no troglodyte. Did the troglodyte escape? This whole thing is useless if they can just escape from it. Okay, uh, we'll put the cave crocodile in. Let's see how it works out. Let's uh, go for that. P, where's my cave crocodile at? Cave crocodile, got a cave toad. Cave crocodile, boom, there we go. Let's watch that bad boy go in. Keep our eye on the fortress for now. Hello, Fuzzy Logic, how you doing? Welcome back to the stream. You're still alive, by the way. Your dwarf is still going strong. Not sure we can say the same about Lonicerus, unfortunately. Let me just have a quick peek. Has nickname, read the dwarves. Yep, Fuzzy Logic, you're alive. Lonicerus, sadly dead. But hey, there you go. That's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Just waiting for them to get this alligator and bung it in this pit, and then we'll see what happens. Hopefully, it will stay in there and survive. More drowsy and dehydrated dwarves. Brilliant. Just what we need. Oh! <clears throat> the forgotten beast, Slon Tospassono, has come. A huge, hairy stag beetle. It has four long, curving horns, and it squirms and fidgets. Its chartreuse hair is unkempt. Beware its deadly blood. Enter to close the window. Here he is. Let's click on him. There we go. Forgotten beast. And we will follow and see what he does. Not too much. He's just beetling around up here. Walking in a bit of a circle. And gone. Well. A bit disappointing. Ah, I see. He hasn't gone gone. He's just gone out of sight. That's a problem. That's a problem. Beasts become non-aggressive in the water. <laughs> well, the thing about that, Lonicerus, the thing about Fuzzy outliving you in Dwarf Fortress is you have to give him something because the statistics say you're going to outlive him in the real world. So, swings and roundabouts, really, isn't it? He gets like a hundred dwarf lives that last a little bit longer. You get a human life that lasts... A good few years longer, according to the stats. I mean, that may not be all happy-go-lucky times, but it's good enough, right? It's something. Is this guy in a mood? He's running around babbling. 
Has he gone nuts? Let's go have a look at Dwarf Therapist and see if we've uh, got some crazies knocking around. It's very possible. <clears throat> uh, yep, we got someone who's... Um, oh, right, okay. It's the same guy who was doing the thing before. He's gone stark raving mad. Okay, that, that last guy who got his mood, that's him. There you go, amazing. Gone completely lunatic. Right, where was I? Beasts come non-aggressive except for pond grabbers. Intriguing. Oh, look, the crocodile's in the pit. And it's staying there by the look of things. Is it right by the door? It is. I'm amazed that the cave crocodile knows what a door is, but okay. Is it fighting the door, I wonder? Dunno. Do we send our... Let's send one of our squads in to kill it, shall we? Should we do our first combat training? It's not even combat training, is it? What we need to do is now... Okay, now this has all been built through. I need to go... And we're going to go into this little place here. And we're going to go D up ramp. We're going to go down a floor. Boom, boom. Then we're going to do zoom out a bit. This and this and where they intersect. Lovely. We're going to have a nice big corridor leading up and now all the people who live oh sorry who live who drink in the tavern can come to the fighting pit and enjoy the combat sports hooray hooray oh yeah you can smell the air coming under and it could be a building you were supposed to seal him in with a constructed oh god yeah i was going to use a bloody um thingy when i we were going to use a um Trapdoor to keep the croc in. Oh, for goodness sake, stop it, stop it. <laughs> oh, what's happening? Control the game, scoundrel. Be better, be good, be adequate. It's the best you can hope for. Okay, so what we need to do in this case is change the design just a bit. Okay, so what we get here. Let's dig that out and then we channel out here and here and here and we get rid of this door X and then we dig out this here there we go and then we'll make this a little deeper and we'll build the trapdoor and then we'll have that as, uh, yeah, to stop there. Just build a constructed wall. What, in, down here? Let's uh, cancel all this while we consider what our options are. You mean build a constructed wall in here and fill that in? Because how are we going to get our dudes in to kill them? We don't want to fling them into the pit as well. We need to get them in and out. Yeah, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little drawbridge over here. And then we're going to... Um, yeah. I know what I'm doing. Trust me. Or not. You don't have to. I mean, I must admit, I'm not the most trustworthy of figures. One, two, three. One, two, three. That should be symmetrical-ish. Sort it. Let's make it actually symmetrical. We'll dig that out. <laughs> Lovely. Resume. Carry on, everybody. Carry on. What is UKGE? I am unfamiliar with the uh, the idea of whatever it may be. Come on, miners. What are you doing? What are you playing at? He's a fucking woodcutter. Why have you come down into the combat pit with a crocodile? Okay, we've got to rescue him now. Uh, squads, let's send the silvery bowels and the intense friends in. Why not? Let's do it. Uh, we're going to say kill animal at cursor. Bang. Okay. There we go. Wait a minute. It's all right. Oh, it's got a name. Women knew the cave crocodile. Okay. Didn't realise it was that important. 
Let's resume. Let's see all of our uh, major squadrons come down. Could you send the military in through the door? I will, <laughs> but I didn't lock it, unfortunately. So there we go. Crocodile dead. Not yet. Not yet. Let's have a look and see what the fighting's like. 16 pages. It's looking pretty blue. That's a good sign. Oh, no, not so good. A couple of bites. Archery opened. Oh, dear. He put up a good fight for a little while, but he didn't do great. Oh, look, the early start is it. Oh, I see. It got bruised up from being chucked in the pit, but uh, didn't do that much damage. Okay, let's see how this works out. Come on, kill him. Kill him. I don't know why you're not all using crazy silver hammers. Hopefully we don't lose any dwarves. This cave crocodile seems to be a bit tougher than I had anticipated. It's okay. It's okay. We're, we're pulling the fat of its neck apart. It shouldn't survive too long. He's stuck trying to destroy the building from entirely too close. Did they rescue that guy or is he dead? Fingers crossed he's rescued. We haven't even got a hospital. That's a good point. Man, I never get a proper colony set up. I always get distracted and we end up with this sort of like spiralling thirst and uh, collapsing medical problems. The amount of damage a fool delivers is per level. It doesn't scale with size at all. Oh, okay. Oh, Croco's dead. Good. Croco's dead. Can we butcher that now? Get some crocodile meat? The door's smashed to bits, sadly. Plump helmet spawn. What's that doing there? Oh, someone must have been carrying it. We got hurt. Yeah. Oh, it looks like two people died. It's a bit of a shame. Let me quickly go over to Dwarf Therapist and see who uh, survived and who didn't. The baby troglodyte would splash and the croc would live. Oh, I see. Oh, blimey. Poor old baby troglodyte dashed to bits on the floor of the pit. Well, at least it was for science. That's the main thing, right? At least it was for science. Right, nickname-wise, we're looking pretty good. Let's sort by squads and make sure we have everybody we need. Nine and nine. Oh, no one died. It looked like there was a load of clothes there. I thought someone had died. Got some military sparring going on. That's nice. Okay. Okay, let's go back to uh, Dwarf Fortress again. There we go. <clears throat> An elephant or giant animal will be barely un barely harmed. I get you. Oh, I get you. Forbid passage. There we go. Now no one can go in or out until we've got this all sorted. Oh, look. A pair of gloves there. That's nice. These guys come to collect all the gear. They have. Or at least we know in principle that the whole thing works. We just need to put a proper uh, drawbridge in and we'll be all good. Everything will be tickety-boo. Bickety-too. Wickety-woo. That little toy boat. I mean, it looks like a toy boat, right? The more I zoom in, the more boaty it looks. I mean, sure, maybe it's an actual boat, but that doesn't seem very likely, does it? it seems positively daft, in fact. We've still only got two blooming um, squads. I should have uh, got more squads put in by now, actually. Still, we're getting there, we're getting there. We haven't had everybody die. That's the crucial thing. We've had a lot of people die, but not everybody. Nobody seems to want to actually come and eat in our dining room anymore. They're only interested in going to the tavern. We've got like one or two people in here, and the dining room's absolutely chock full. Does it connect up to the fighting pit yet? It does. Fisher Dwarf is starving. Come on now, surely we've got plenty of food. How many dwarves have we got? 95, 12 children and 5 babies. Okay, there is a problem there. Hmm. What's this? Oh, it's gone. Whatever it was. Are you digging this out? Good. A little bit more and good. So, 
I actually want to get rid of these as well now that I think about it. And then we can channel out across here. And then across there. And then maybe one more. Actually, why do we need to do that? Let's get rid of these at the edge. There we go. It only has to be a little bit. It only has to be this big, doesn't it? Yeah, that'll do. We can have the, the drawbridge, uh, the lever to control it just a bit further back and it'll be all good. It'll be all good. Come on, dig, dig. Oh, they don't have to take their time, don't they? Mind you, the engraving's coming along nicely. Let's see what we got here. A well-designed image of a narrow crescent by Nunchaku Chaku. Good old Nunchaku Chaku. Uh, an image of a mountain. Engraved on the wall is a well-designed image of the True Forest Retreat. The Praise Bound Codex by Nunchaku Chaku again. Anyway, <clears throat> back into action, guys. Come on. My fighting pit is a little underwhelming, I think. The, uh... Oh, excuse me. Getting a drawbridge done here properly will probably sort things out a bit, but we'll see. Make it look a little bit more pro. A bit cooler. I'm going to dig that out, and we're also going to get this... Oops, a daisy. And dismantle it. We do not need that anymore. There we go. And I'll also channel that out there and that. In fact, all three of these can go. Cool. Uh, DH uh, there. And then we're going to need to build. Actually, we need to go deeper. I can't just do a one slot friggin' thingy. That won't do any good, will it? Be useless. Totally bloody useless. What I'm going to do is, once this is dug out, I'm going to remove all the ramps over here, so the only way out of the hole is back up into here. That's my plan, at least. That's how I'm hoping it will work. In fact, to do that, it probably makes sense to dig just a little bit further in, doesn't it? There we go. We can put a drawbridge over it. It'll be all good. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, guys. Oh, God, saving. Someone's been dehydrated to death. Are we back in the dehydration spiral? Come on, game. Give me a break. We've had two people die of thirst, apparently. That's going to be an issue. We don't want everyone dying of thirst. Well, we don't. Ideally, we don't want them dying at all. Maybe that's a bit of a high hope, isn't it? Most people die. <clears throat> well, I mean, over a given long enough period amount of time, everybody dies. But over a short period, most people die. What am I talking about? I'm losing my mind clearly, very clearly. So we've got this up ramp here, that's going to be cool. Just need to dig deeper as we go further back, that's all. Come on, save game, you can do it. You can make it. You can survive, here we go. Uh, so, D, H, let's go down a floor. Which means I want to dig out all this. Yeah. There we go. Actually, by doing that, I'm going to trap all my guys down there, aren't I? Shit. Shitty, 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 shitty. Oh, the turkeys are dying as well. Not a good sign. Not a good sign at all. Once the egg layers start to go, that's the food foundation of the fortress crumbling beneath us. Everything seems so peaceful around here, doesn't it? Yet death is all around. Oh, oh, what happened there? In a berserk rage. Why is there a gem cutter in a berserk rage? What's, what's driven him to that? 
manager is fighting giant cave toad oh my goodness we don't want that we don't want that at all <coughs> pardon me I'm actually starting to flag a bit <clears throat> this cold is really uh, I'm sorry I've been a bit low key tonight I've not been very uh, energetic but you know colds will do that to a man Oh, they'll do it to a woman. They'll do it to a child. Hell, golds just do that in general. What is the manager's office like this for? Why is he constantly buggering around taking all his clothes off? That's not part of your job, sir. It's worrying that you do it. Very worrying. Back down to the bottom. There we go. Dug all that out. Uh, another floor there. D, H... Uh, do all that, but not that. There we go. And then once we've built a drawbridge, it all should be good, right? Right? Is that how it works? I think that's how it works. I mean, just guessing, but <laughs> maybe. Maybe I'm correct. Never really took advantage of our magma furnaces, did we? Should we? Oh, look, something's being made here. What's he making? Forge lead bucket. Well, okay, it's not that exciting. Ah, dear. I feel like I've made a mistake. I feel like this fortress is only a hair's breadth from death. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm being crazy, but... Uh, does feel that way. There's a certain atmosphere. Maybe we should just dig down for the candy and go on to Crypt Beards 10. Mind you, it's not like we've actually achieved any of the goals for this Crypt Beards, have we? Mind you, I'm enjoying this new uh, 1044 version. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Let me dig some more down. Come on, diggy boy. You can do it. You can do it. And then, of course, that we can. Bit while I'm here, we'll build a bridge. It's not a bridge, is it? It's a drawbridge. Maybe it is a bridge. Uh, G. Yeah, there we go. Bridge retracts. I want to make it not quite that big. That's a bit big. Nice and wide. Uh, height U and M. M is the one, and U goes there. U. That's it. Actually, hang on. No, 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 no. no. Escape. Uh, B. No. G. There we go. Needs walkable perimeter. Yet, yeah, sure, sure. We'll get there. We'll get there. K. K. That's it. Okay. Uh, raise direction, W A D X S S. Oh no, we don't want that, we want to extract it, don't we? W A. That's it, retracts. Where does it retract to, though? Whatever, that'll do. It can go in there and we'll make it out of obsidian because. Well, we've got obsidian. <laughs> we've got tons of obsidian. There we go. And then all we need to do is build a lever. Uh, build. Where's a lever? Lever, 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 lever. Got to be L, right? Nope, that's a bridge. Traps and levers are in the same area. Uh, lever L. There we go. Pop it there. Might as well make it obsidian just for matching. Then once that's in, hopefully we'll be able to get this miner out. Is the miner actually still in the hole? No. Oh. He appears to have just escaped. Which is a little worrying, because if he can escape, then anything we put in there can escape. But we'll see. We'll see. Why too deep? You mean here? Just 
to stop escaping, I think. Or maybe not. There are ghosts around. We have a number of ghosts in this uh, fortress. Mainly just the fact that we had a graveyard that kept getting smashed up by trolls. So, yeah. Everybody was trotting around being all, uh, you know, haunted and that. What's he carrying? He's got a big eye on him. Store item in stockpile. Can't tell what he's carrying. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Don't get distracted, scoundrel. Don't get distracted. You've nearly finished the mission you came into this uh, episode to do. So, you know, get excited for that. I do this rough obsidian bridge. Doesn't seem to be being built. Why? Got idlers. Come on, build bridges. Oops. Maybe I'll just get rid of these designations at the bottom because they're annoying me. D X. That will do. That will do for now. There we go. Somebody come build this damn bridge, and this lever. Build stuff. Come on, guys. What are you doing, dwarves? What are you doing? The uh, temple's still very popular, isn't it? There's a duck in the temple for some reason. Now, the temple seems more popular than the tavern. I would always be worried by any population where the, the tavern is less popular than the temple. That seems... I don't know, it's just worrying. Come on, get the drawbridge built, and then we can be away. Or is the drawbridge blocked in? That's the question. No, it can't be, right? It's got to be good. Got to get built, right? Got to get built. Depends on the style of temple. I suppose so. It could be a temple of Bacchus, and then they're basically the same thing. Anyone coming to... Uh build the drawbridge with me? No? Nobody seems keen on helping the drawbridge. Sad but true. Sad but true. Ah, dear. Oh, we've got some blocks being transferred. Oh, just to the stockpiles though. <laughs> They're not actually being transferred to be used. Heaven forfend. You know what? I've got a horrible feeling that they're just not going to build that. I don't quite know why. Some clothes at the bottom. Did somebody die down here or something? What happened? The Temple of Sharing Beer. Sounds good to me. This is just an all-purpose general temple, though. I mean, let's have a look and see what some of our people are praying about. I'm going to do a quick read and find some people who are praying or meditating. Uh, here we go. First person praying we come across is Attis, currently meditating on rebirth. What else have we got? Um, we've got someone praying to knock goal. That's nice. A couple of people doing that. Meditating on fame, death. Two people meditating on death, including the Baroness Cadol. Oh my goodness. I've been ignoring my nobility, actually. They've probably been putting all sorts of bloody mandates in. The bastards. The terrible, terrible bastards. Wow, someone shot down there. What's that? Moving at a fair old pace. Oh, it's a puppy. Nobody panic. It's just a regular old puppy. Nothing to write home about. Nothing to panic about. Well, the lever's been placed. But we can't link it with the bridge. Waiting for architecture. Okay. I think I can manage that. If I go to Dwarf Therapist, we'll look and see how many architects we've got. Not really any to speak of. Don't sort, sort by anything. Just... There we go. We've got a few architects. You know what? I might just enable it on a ton of people. It's not vital, is it? It's not, it hasn't got to be a super high level for stuff to get done. Sounds like good news to you. I'm not sure what you're referring to, but good. Good news is good. Oh, excuse my yawning. Oh, no. 
you know when you get that funny taste in your mouth and that weird feeling at the back of your throat and your shoulders start to feel a bit shivery? Yeah, I've got a bad cold coming. That's not a good sign. Ah, poo. Never mind. Never mind. It will give me time to uh, do some non-streamed gaming and uh, figure out what my future schedule is going to be. Because uh, as sad as it will make some people, this is not going to be a Just Dwarf Fortress channel for much longer. I am going to introduce some other games, including a bit of RimWorld, probably. I'm not going to stop playing Dwarf Fortress. I'm going to carry on, but I'm going to spice things up a bit. Although those of you who find this via um, r slash Dwarf Fortress are uh, probably going to remain oblivious, which will be, uh, which will be good. Ah, oh, Rices. Dark Souls Remaster. I haven't purchased the Dark Souls Remaster, so uh, I won't be playing that anytime soon. But we'll, uh, you know, if I do buy the, or if I do play Dark Souls Remaster, will it be a new game plus or will it be another first run through? I'm saying it like I don't dread the idea of playing Dark Souls again. <laughs> oh, please, no. Let me have a look at my... Uh... I know I, I've been tempted to go and do some of the Paradox games, and I've noticed they're all on sale, but the problem is if you go and buy, try and buy Europa Universalis... Oh, shit. Why have we suddenly jumped to here? Somebody got a mood? Don't see anybody. Yeah, if I go and buy Europa Universalis, sure, it's only like a tenner for the core game, but then you look at the amount of DLC there is for it and the amount of like how cool it all is, and you realise you're gonna have to be spending nearly a hundred quid just to get like, you know, just to get the game, the full experience. I finally go back and kill Gwendolyn and Priscilla. Oh yeah, consider from the um any guys I didn't kill from my initial is this little kid in a mood oh there's somebody standing there in a mood but it's not the baby it's probably someone carrying a baby anyway resume there there we go oh where'd they go oh shite in here there you go they're claiming a ooh a gem a jeweler's workshop that's unusual Okay, let's watch and see what they do. Presumably grab some jewels. Yep, makes sense. Anything else? More jewels. Oh, what else are you going to put in there? Oh, hello. Well, whatever you pick up, you could have picked up much closer. Oh, wow, that's slowing down. I think they've picked up some Galena ore there, or either that or it's far light. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, it's taking a bit too long. Shall I just assume they're going to get all the gear they need? Yeah, I'm just going to assume they're going to get all the gear they need. It'll be fine. Don't panic. Are they building this bridge yet? No. Nope. Nobody gives a shit about my bridge. Come on, boys, build the bridge, will ya? Put the obsidian blocks down. I've made it retractable and everything. Come on. Come on. Oh my god, I'm going to sneeze in a sec. That would be terrible. <clears throat> First I'm coughing and spluttering into the microphone, talking with a bunged up nose. <laughs> Hiccuping and burping. I haven't done that yet this stream, have I? That's unusual. And then, then I start sneezing. No, can't be done. Nope, nearly made it back to Glane. If you put the baby down, it's probably going to make things significantly easier. Then again, being possessed by a fey mood probably uh, doesn't make you think straight. It just makes you go straight for the thing you want to do. Right, are you going to start work? Oh, nope. Oh shit, they shoot off so fast. Oh, don't go and get more Galena. Come on. Yeah, they're doing it. Bang. Why did you choose the most distant chunk possible? That's what I can't figure out. Hmm. 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 Very odd. Very odd. 
Hello, Cleaner Dev. Yes, uh, I have turned the camera off because I'm feeling a bit... Uh, and I've turned the light off because it was dazzling my eyes. Give me somewhat of a headache. So uh, I figured, what the hell? Just leave the camera off for today. This uh, cold is probably making me look pretty grotty as it is anyway. But thanks for joining us, Cleaner Dev. Welcome back. Welcome back. You've come to us... Towards the end, I believe, we've been streaming for three hours and shit, I've been recording for an hour and a quarter. Those of you watching on YouTube, thank you very much for doing so, but uh, wow. Boy, oh boy, that's a biggie. Bye.